This segment of the news is brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. And a medical issue caused a single vehicle collision this morning on the highway. Highway 372 and 160 dispatched for a report of a one vehicle accident. Upon arrival, we found that one vehicle had hit a concrete median that supported a light standard for the traffic control signals. And the, the vehicle had sustained significant damage to the undercarriage on the front side. The driver was still in the vehicle, however, they were not entrapped. There appeared to be a medical necessity attached to this particular accident. The crew is assessed and then transported one to Desview Hospital. Lion Habitat Ranch is home to 36 big cats and some birds from our town. The ostriches at the facility were confiscated from a home here in Pahrump. Lion Habitat Ranch is home to 36 lions, numerous birds, and a painting giraffe. The ranch is located in Henderson, minutes from Las Vegas Boulevard, and is open to the public to enjoy. Yes, it's open to the public Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. in the summer and 11 to 2.30 in the winter. $20 for locals, and that includes a child 4 to 14 free with each adult, and kids under 4 are free all the time. You can rent the whole facility, rent out spaces, do birthday parties or you know graduation parties. Multiple lions happily living out their lives at the Lion Habitat Ranch have been residents of Las Vegas for many years now, previously performing daily on the Las Vegas Strip. Well, these are the same lions that used to be at the hotel for, uh, for 15 years at the MGM, and this is where they've lived all the time, and we used to take them to work daily. So this is basically you get to see everybody all at once, plus a, the only giraffe in Nevada, plus the only giraffe that paints. The emus uh, we rescued from people in Pahrump, and uh, the ostriches came from the Las Vegas Zoo that was shut down. We took those in along with their female lioness. In addition to the ranch being open to the public to visit the animals, take part in their feedings, experience Ozzy the Giraffe's fantastic painting skills, and explore the gift shop, the ranch spreads their expertise in field trip tours for school children and full park rentals for special events. We moved here in 1975. We took over the old Las Vegas Zoo. Mm -hmm. The arena cage you see in the parking lot is from that zoo. Wow. So, I mean, I have long history here trying to do it for the community. And so we, we specialize now in school tours for kids, uh, five bucks a kid. Ozzy is a three-year-old male reticulated giraffe who has a natural love for painting. The three-year-old who stands a whopping 16 feet is the only giraffe in Nevada and is a self-taught painter. We recognized that he was grabbing things, so we started out with a stick and then turned it into a paintbrush. At first he just hit the canvas and then we figured out, you know, He'll make strokes on it, uh -huh. and then so we just keep giving him rewards for what he does and reinforcing that behavior. And now he's producing paintings that are going to be sold at the Vignette Art Gallery in uh, Henderson. You watch him paint uh, for free, uh, 11, 12, and 1. And uh, you can also pay to do a custom painting with him, which is an 8 by 10, and it's $100. And you can either hand him the brush or hold the canvas. Lion Habitat Ranch is located at 382 Bruner Avenue in Henderson, Nevada. For more information on how to visit the ranch, donate or sponsor a lion, or how to buy a beautiful painting by Ozzy the Giraffe, give them a call at 702-595-6666. Or look them up at lionhabitatranch.org. This is Darby O'Donnell reporting for News 46. Thanks, Starry. Well, local residents are saying goodbye to one of our own. Fred Jones, a longtime emergency management communication officer, has passed away suddenly this past Saturday, May 20th. Fred had served the people of Nye County since 2004. He had previously served as a driving instructor at Spring Mountain Motorsports, a shooting instructor at Front Sight, spent years serving with the Nye County Sheriff's Office Search and Rescue, and as a Nye County Hazmat Technician. Fred also was a longtime ham radio operator as well as an officer. Fred leaves behind a sister, his wife, Joni, and many friends. And our condolences to the family. Angela Miles has today's Business First Brief. Tapping our news, expectations are high ahead of President Trump's full budget proposal. The president disclosed a blueprint in March. The House Ways and Means Committee has slated a hearing on the proposal with Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin Wednesday. Starting in June, big drug companies will reveal cancer-fighting treatments at a cancer conference in Chicago. Ahead of that event, Merck has received two approvals for its blockbuster drug, Keytruda, to be used in cases of bladder and lung cancers. A 
spike in insulin prices is concerning consumers. Reports say Eli Lilly and Novo Nordisk recently boosted insulin prices by nearly 8%. The average price of insulin already tripled between 2002 and 2013, according to the American Diabetes Association. After this break, we'll tell you what's going on at the Board of County Commissioners meetings.